Hello, I'm Lori Hergott. And I'm Marvin Polis. We work for TELUS, a company you'll be hearing a lot from over the next little while. TELUS is Canada's third largest telecommunications and information management services company. You may know us through one of our subsidiaries, EdTel, AGT Limited, AGT Mobility, AGT Directory, or EdTel Directory. What you may not know is that TELUS is developing its vision for the information highway. Why? Well, we're now on the verge of the 21st century, and Canada's prosperity rides not so much on the ribbons of steel and concrete which make up our railways and roadways, as on ribbons of light called fiber optics. Telecommunications is the gateway to the next frontier, a frontier of a truly global community. Today, digital technology delivers information and entertainment around the world in whatever form you demand. Information that moves ideas and products. Information that moves medical miracles. Entertainment that moves you. Telephones are merging with computers and television. Voice, video and data are carried simultaneously on a single strand of glass fiber. Digital technology creates a world where the only passport you need is a keypad. Imagine staying in contact with your home or office from wherever you happen to be in the world. Imagine your children in a classroom without walls. Imagine the great libraries and research sources of the world available to them in the comfort and security of their own private space. It is doable and it's being done here and now. TELUS has created a new venture called TELUS Multimedia. Subject to the approval of the federal regulator, TELUS will be conducting technical and marketing trials of high-speed information highway services in sections of three Alberta neighbourhoods. More than 3,000 homes have been chosen, about half in the Lake Bonavista neighbourhood in Calgary and half from the Radigan Ridge and Greenfield areas of Edmonton. In all, TELUS will spend about $60 million on the trial. What does this mean to you? Well, it means innovative computer-based services, high-speed internet access, clear and reliable TV signals with more viewing choices, and events and movies with more control and pricing options than you've ever had before. In order for us to bring these services to you, there will be some construction taking place in your neighborhood, beginning just after Labor Day and during the fall. We expect our presence near your home to take no longer than a couple of days. Then, after continuing behind-the-scenes development, we'll start offering services to you in mid to late 1997. Okay, let's talk about construction. To get the fiber optic cabling through your neighborhood, we'll either bury it or suspend it from the poles where existing utilities such as phone and power pass your home now. In some cases, this may be near the front of your yard and in other cases, out back. But in no case will it cost you any money. TELUS will pay all construction costs related to this trial. You can expect minimal disruption if your existing utilities are suspended from poles in your back alley. In these cases, we'll simply be out back stringing new cabling along the poles. Where it's necessary to bury the cabling, we'll also minimize disruption. That's because in the majority of cases, we'll be going to the extra expense of using an innovative construction method called directional boring to bury the cabling parallel to your street. Instead of digging trenches, this means we'll drill underneath existing turf and pavement, such as driveways, and then pull through the fiber optic cabling. There will be no trenches, just a hole, like this one, where the drill bit enters the ground and comes back up again, way down your block. Lake Bonavista will be the exception. Trenches will be required in much of the neighborhood, either underneath the pavement of the street or back alley, because other utilities will be upgraded at the same time. Regardless of the construction method, though, we'll take full advantage of the utility pedestals that are already in place in your neighborhood, replace them with slightly larger versions if we have to, or, where necessary, install a new pedestal where one didn't exist before. In any case, you can expect some digging around the pedestals. Again, this work is intended to get the fiber optic cabling suspended or buried along your alley or street this fall. More about actually connecting your home to this cabling in a moment. However minor the construction this fall, we'll keep you fully informed about what we're doing and when, and ask for your help in ensuring that children and pets are kept a safe distance from our operations. 
We will work six days a week, by the way, in order to get the job done before there's any serious amount of snow on the ground. By next summer, you will be offered the opportunity to subscribe to these services. At that time, we'll need to connect your home to the fiber optic cabling located at the utility right of way. Again, we plan to minimize disruption. We'll do this next summer by making a small incision through the lawn without actually removing any grass. This will only be necessary if you subscribe to our services. The process involves less trauma to the turf than it would take to install an underground sprinkler system. Oh, and if you already have an underground sprinkler system, we will work with you to avoid those or any other existing obstacles. Should there be any damage caused to your sprinkler system or to any other aspect of your landscaping, we will of course restore it to its previous condition. And speaking of landscaping, here's what a leading horticultural expert has to say about the process. Water, uh, do some fertilizing, and uh, just keep a, a close eye on it because the, the, it'll be very important to have moisture. Uh, lawns respond extremely well to moisture. And you, you know, it, it, will, it makes a difference because it will only make it come back quicker. So the construction is done. You've indicated you'd like to try the services and your home has been connected. Okay, now what? Well, at first, the services will be offered to you at no charge for a few months as part of a technical trial as we work to stabilize the network. We're in learning mode here. Then we'll move into a marketing trial. If you choose to continue with us in the trial, you'll be asked to pay for the services you want, whether they are the lightning fast internet access or an innovative home security system, movies on demand, or television services packaged in new and exciting ways. Here, you teach us. I know, I know. How much? Well, we really don't know yet, and that's the point of the trial. We'll learn together. In all, you can expect about one year of service. You don't have to participate in the trial, but this is where we could really use your help so that you have a say in what services we might be offering in any future commercial launch. There are no guarantees at this point, but if we find that the services can be sustained, and with the approval of the regulator, we'll explore the possibility of launching the TELUS Multimedia Venture on a permanent basis. Like the mighty Spruce, the Rockies, or this very neighborhood, TELUS is a homegrown Alberta entity. And that's why we've begun right here, to build the most reliable residential ramp to the information highway as part of our ongoing commitment to our customers. An electronic highway brings people together who would have never before communicated. It carries a cargo of ideas created, shared, and equally exchanged by Albertans and the rest of the world. After all, our vision at TELUS is to enrich people's lives at home, work, or leisure through reliable information and telecommunication services that are accessible wherever, whenever, and however our customers want. We're ready to explore this next frontier with you. And it all starts here. In your own backyard. Or front yard. If you have any questions about the construction or about the services we hope to bring to you, please call us toll free at 1-888-832-8222.